our next speaker is uh, Soline Bredin, Br Bredon, Bredon. <laughs> and she's a French designer and artist based in Eindhoven. And with her speculative installations and projects, she wants to make the audience think about relevant topics and create a dialogue. And uh, she studied at the Fine Arts School in Lyon and the Design Academy in Eindhoven. And today she will tell us about her graduation projects, Digits Untangled and Obsessogram, and uh, the research that led to this. So I ask you to the stage. Hi everyone, thank you Anna. Uh, tonight I will present some part of the research that led to my graduation projects, uh, Obsessogram and Digits Untangled. I started this research being fascinated by the loss of physicality while interacting with the digital, especially in social media contexts such as Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. I was exploring how online identities were being shaped, constructed through the use of written language. How do we construct ourselves? Edouard Higgins, in self-discrepancy, presented the three domains of the self. The actual self, which is aspects of identity that one possesses. The ideal self, what one wants to possess. The old self, what one should possess. We generate multiple kinds of worlds through our online actions. What means being authentic or be judged as authentic if the authenticity of the self evolves from one moment to the next? There is no pre-given definition of what is authentic or not. During this research, I was asking myself how words could be used as a tool to generate choreographic systems which would be directly connected to your online identities. I research how algorithms detect emotions from written text. There is uh, six categories, uh, which are uh, anger, disgust, enjoyment, fear, surprise, and sadness. And for each emotion, I would associate different adjectives. As I was trying to connect our digital emotions to our physical ones, I mapped these six emotions on different parts of the body. This was based on the research exploring activating and deactivating emotional body parts. So for example, if you feel disgust, it would be expressed on your throat part, so this area. Um, from this starting point, I generated directions and shapes to be performed by the body. So for each emotion, a notation. These are the translation of the research on the right, uh, you can see the body notation I created, and on the left, a scenario where we would be communicating online only through body movements. So I will skip a bit. Um, from this research about the body, the interface, and social media, I developed two projects, Obsessogram and Digits Untangled. We project ourselves in future possible beings in opposition to the narrative identities which are being encored in the past. The image of the body is as malleable as the physical body itself. Then what does it mean to be present, absent in the digital age? Is it only through my online interactions that I can exist, being present by physically being absent? Our bodies are frozen into images that will be activated online. In offline realities, we are often constrained by our physical appearances, while in online contexts, anonymity gives us the possibility to shape and portray ourselves in many varied ways. I chose Facebook as the context for this project and analyzed different obsessive behaviors it could generate. I selected few such as blind scrolling, stalking, clicking on likes, etc. How do you become self-aware of your physicality and multiple identities you communicate to your surroundings? We need self-reflexive modes of perception to, to recreate a dialogue between mind and body. Our body gestures and movements evolve with the use of smartphones. We are totally absorbed in this magic box that makes us lose our physical balance, our notion of proxemics and space. I was looking at street dances as an inspiration for these movements. 
How do these bodies express emotions? These are the translations I made for the ritual gestures based on the subjective and intuitive experience. Obsessiogram is the name for your, for, for your Facebook spirit guide. It is a digital version of yourself warning you against your absent states on the social platform. Each obsessive behavior is associated with a body movement. So every time you are blind scrolling, for example, your spirit guide blocks your account and warns you against your absent states. It shows you a body gesture to perform and you'll have to do the same in front of your webcam to unlock your account. I wanted to create a performative space where the user is confronted with his, her online obsessive behaviors. So this is the research of the installation. And uh, this project is more of a comment than a functional tool. It is here to trigger your mind and make you reflect on your own behaviors. In parallel to this project, I wanted to give another perspective on how we could perceive our bodies differently. What will it mean to have a body in a time where physical phones might be gone? The best interface is me interface. If our bodies become the digital, the carrier of, the carrier of our data, our entire communication, physical and virtual, and interaction with our environment will be modified. Do I still own my body, my identity, or is it controlled by social networking companies like Facebook? I wanted to rethink notions of identity, sexuality, communication, and emotion. As we might be losing a certain aspect of our physicality, how can we rethink our relation to the body? Presented as a peep show, this scenario explores the position of the spectator as a voyeur. Two videos of a digital body are observed through an aperture on either side of the box. The spectators experience the otherness, a sense of the otherness of their own body through a visual, tactile, and auditory interactions. Voices are talking about sexuality without using any explicit words. The out-of-body experience induces discomfort and forces the user to question what the other is seeing. Hi there, are you here to play me? To touch my smooth digital body, I'm switched on. Come and connect yourself to me. Try to unlock my system. Drop in my game. No one reached the bonus stage. Give it a shot. Show me your digit skills. You can tangle me the way you like. Come and cross my lines. I want you to touch my dots. Move them. Yes, just like this. Can you feel me vibrating? My frame rate is rising. There is no point of return. Hit. Diagonal. Stretch my net. I want to sense your finger tightening my lines. You are in the right zone. Tangle me. You are almost at the next level. The anticipation is killing me. One to six. Move. Move. Where should you take this dot? Tangle or untangle? Cut in. Fast travel. Look my interface flickering. Your strategy is working. Speedrun. I'm getting tired. I've never felt so connected. It's a whole new level. No one ever reached that far. That's your last hit. You completed my game. Tangled the digits. Yes, thank you. <laughs>